This is Hannibal here from thehannibaltv.com. I did watch the Chris Colt episode of Dark Side of the Ring today. I have to say this was maybe my least favorite episode ever. There there was a couple... I mean, I didn't like the one I was in on Abdullah the Butcher. It was very, very biased and a lot of false information. Uh, I found the uh, Korea one very boring, and then there was a, a Japanese one on one of these Japanese promotions that was pretty boring. But th- this one, they showed a lot of gay porn footage, and they cu- I, I don't care if you're gay or not. Chris Colt is, is certainly not like uh, your Jim Powers or, or Paul Roma-looking wrestler. He's very rough looking and it's not somebody that you necessarily want to imagine being in that type of video with and then they were interviewing the director about it and the director I guess was in some of these videos with him and just a little bit too much information for my taste too much uh than I really wanted to imagine. It was nice to see Bill Anderson in it, who I've interviewed a bunch of times. And um, I I always like him. He was a partner of Chris Colt. Uh, he did wrestle in one of my towns here, one of the cities that I put, have put on Great North Wrestling events in the Brockville uh, Memorial Center. Because I remember when I went there one time, WWE came there once too randomly in 2022, but they were showing me some some posters, and I think it would have been the Bear Man or the Wolf Man promoting back then, but in the 80s, Chris Colt headlined a show out here, and I, I was always a bit interested in him after seeing that poster, because he looked like he's, with the makeup and everything, he looked... Um, like a character on the poster, no doubt he's a good heel. He did he did a Nazi gimmick, um, Hell's Angels type gimmick. Uh, then then the more outlandish homosexual type gimmicks. Uh, they tell one story in this, and I know they exaggerate stories a lot, but I'll ha- Bill Anderson's usually a pretty straight shooter. That he was in a cage match <laughs> and took LSD before he was obviously a big time drug user. And he had hallucinations that there were spiders <laughs> coming to get him, and he ended up running into the crowd and attacking people in the crowd, uh, which is easy to imagine. And Bill had to run out and save him because it, ca- it caused a full riot. This is in the day when news didn't travel, because if news traveled more, I could I could see <laughs> him not. He eventually got stopped. People stopped booking him because he became too unreliable and his substance abuse problems became too serious. Uh, they mentioned uh, the worst. He apparently died from HIV and, and had supposedly, according to one of the stories, something sticking in, in his arm was found in an alley in Seattle at the time of his death. He always wanted to die young, supposedly. Supposedly he knew Janis Joplin, the singer had met her in San Francisco. But yeah, really, there is probably, it seemed like at least 15 minutes of this on his, once he got, like, uh, pretty much blackballed from pro wrestling, he got into the gay porn and just the the promos and stuff that we were seeing from that, it's just, <laughs> they didn't leave, they didn't actually show intercourse, but it didn't leave much to the imagination, and again, this guy, this guy is is not something you want an image like that in your in your head from. I know they're they're kind of getting desperate for content at some point, but I did enjoy. I'm glad that uh, Bill Anderson got a payoff on this. He likes uh, visiting graves. It's uh, one of his passions, and he visited Chris Colt's grave during this. Uh, they had Jim Cornette in it, Princess Victoria, who supposedly at one time was asked by by males in wrestling to try and turn him. But, um, yeah, I can't say I really liked this one. I, I found it a little bit too creepy. 
Uh, definitely. I like the Harley Race one a lot from this season. I like the Brutus Beefcake one. Who, who by the way, I'm supposed to be inter- interviewing Brutus Beefcake soon. I'll check in with him now that that has been reminded to me. And yeah, I would I would suggest <laughs> stopping before the end if you don't want to be having nightmares about imagining uh, this guy this guy going at it with others. I, I, don't, I don't even think if it was heterosexual porn, seeing these type of promos would be something that I'd want to think about just because he's, he's such a grotesque individual. Yes, Brutus Beefcake was the booty man. Mike D, how was Piper? I got a picture of her today. I mean, I'll put it up. That'll That'll give me a nicer, sweeter image than Chris Colt cutting a wrestling promo on how bad he's going to, uh, there's cute Piper, by the way. She's as cute as Chris Colt is repulsive. He doesn't say, there was one incident, actually, that now that it's coming back to me now, that Billy Anderson was talking about, where I guess because of his drug issues, he was hallucinating a lot of stuff, and he just just started attacking Bill Anderson and another wrestler while they were driving to the point where the other wrestler has to pull on the side of the road, knocked him out with the front face lock, and then they almost ran him over. But um, he seemed like not a fun guy to uh, to to hang around. Maniac five four one liked the episode since you'd never heard of him. Definitely the the least star power of any episode uh, because it's not like. I'm sure there may have been times where he may have worked with some famous people, but it was mostly stories about unknown people. Definitely definitely a strange guy. Jim Cornette said he was the first to use music. He used to come out to the Welcome to My Nightmare Alice Cooper song. He used the Alice Cooper makeup too, which, which was cool. But, it, but again, I think the sexual stuff in this one was a little bit over the top for... Uh, for my taste, but let me know what you all thought of it in the comments.